सो हे एवरी वन गाइज एम स्वप्नल फ्रॉम एस एम शन चापरा आई टी आई संबाद एंड टूडे आई बी डिस्कसिंग द प्रॉब्लम ई डायरेक्टिंग एजेस ऑफ द कोर्ट फोर्सेज राउंड सिक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स विच इज रेटेड फॉर डिविजन थ्री सो आई एल मूव टू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट पार्ट हियर वी हैव अ ग्राफ विथ एन वर्टिस एंड एम एजेस एंड द ऑल द एम एजेस आर नॉट डायरेक्टेड ओवर हियर वी हैव सम डायरेक्टेड एजेस एंड सम अनडिरेक्टेड एजेस एंड आर टास्क इज टू असाइन द अनडिरेक्टेड एजेस a direction in such a way that um, after assigning the directions to those undirected edges the resultant graph will be a cyclic that is the resultant graph will not be having any cycles and the note is we will have to assign all the undirected edges a particular direction means um, the resultant graph will be having all the edges as directed and added to it we cannot change the direction of the already directed edges okay so i'll move to the explanation okay here as uh, explained earlier we have a graph with n vertices and m edges and the same thing is over here we have to assign the direction to the undirected edges in a such a way that the resultant graph after assigning all the directions will be a cyclic that is won't contain any cycle and the question over here is we cannot change the direction of the already directed edges okay so i'll move to the funda over here let us suppose that we have a graph g1 with the same number of vertices as my parent graph and e1 edges where e1 is only the directed edges i mean e1 is m minus number of undirected edges means only directed edges okay <coughs> so my graph g1 which is v comma e1 is directed obviously because um, it is uh, only having directed edges so there can be two cases g1 can be a cyclic or g1 can be cyclic as in in case 1 G, uh, let us suppose that g1 has a cycle and in case 2 g1 doesn't have a cycle so in first case our graph is already cyclic because even without adding direction to my remaining undirected edges the graph is already cyclic so even if we will add some direction to the undirected edges my graph will remain cyclic and we cannot make it a cyclic so for case 1 the answer will be no and for case 2 we will run a topological sort over the graph g1 and um, as explained earlier graph g1 is only having directed edges and we will run a topo sort over here and we will get the order of vertices of uh, the dag okay so in topo sort we all know that uh, if uh, my uh, there is an edge from u to v then u will come before v in topo sort ordering okay so this is the basic of topo sort <coughs> and what we are doing over here is we will be assigning the direction from a vertex to some other vertex which comes after it in that order so i know this is uh, pretty messed up but uh, i'll explain it to you that is we are assigning first we are uh, finding the topological sort of that particular graph and we are assigning the direction of a certain u vertex to a certain v vertex which is undirected in such a way that u comes before v in order of topo sort so uh, this is pretty obvious that um, the only possibility of cycle formation is when some edge is directed to a vertex which is either itself i mean uh, in this case it is forming a self loop or to some vertex which comes before it in the topo sort but uh, if we can avoid this thing and we will only be assigning the direction in such a way that um, the undirected edge uv 
will be in such a way that u comes before v in that topo sort order then the formation of cycle will be completely avoided and um, my resultant graph will be um, a cyclic one so um, i'll uh, explain you with the sample test case too where the topo sort of the directed edges you can see the a uh, test case 2 in code forces and the topo sort of the directed edges as in the graph g1 here is 1 2 3 5 4 and the undirected edges were 2 comma 1 and 5 comma 2 okay so here 2 comes after 1 in the topological sort order so the edge will be from 1 to 2 and another edge is 2 to 5 because 5 comes after 2 in the topological sort order so this is pretty basic answer to this problem and we will move to the coding part okay so um, i have erased everything and so let's get started i i have taken the input of number of uh, vertices and the number of edges and i'll just make a graph and now a vector of edges okay now i'll take input of the number of edges over here and it will be n t x y t is the type of uh, the edge if it is directed or undirected if it is directed then t is 0 uh, t is 1 and if it is undirected then t is 0 okay c in t c in x c in y i am doing x minus minus and y minus minus because uh, my given input is uh, one based but uh, i want to make it as, as a zero based indexing so i'll just push it to the edge vector and if the type is one that is the edge is directed then i'll push it to my adjacency list okay now i'll run a basic topo sort over here in this graph g1 okay and okay and now if the size of this vertex this topo sort vertex is less than n in that case obviously we are having a cycle because uh, the size of topo sort is less than n that means we have a cycle it's pretty basic then i'll just see out no or you can if uh, you have some problem in understanding this then you can make another function of uh, for to check if it is a cycle or not it's pretty basic that if uh, the size of the ordering in topo sort is less than n then it's a cyclic graph okay and if it is not cyclic then obviously there is an answer so we will write a yes over here and we will form a vertex of indices which is um, assign minus 1 and i'll just uh, give the index to the topo sort order so that it will be useful in in the uh, later code and now i'll just uh, traverse this edges vector <coughs> and if this e dot uh, ff the index of uh, e dot ff is greater than index of e dot ss means e dot second this is a basic macro you can see it in my template and now if it is so then i'll swap it and if it is not then it's obvious that um, e dot ff will be directed to e dot ss and if it's not the case then we will just swap it over and this is my ordering here e dot ff plus 1 because we have we reduced 
the value of the edge while pushing it to the adjacency list okay i guess this is the basic answer to this question and now i'll just have to write the topological sort function <coughs> okay so here the argument will be an adjacency list and now i'll just make vector and order and there will be n which is adjacency dot size okay cool and now i'll just i'll i'll have to make another vector which is storing the n degree of all the vertices and we will assign it to the zero while initialization and i'll just traverse through all the vertex in a particular adjacency list of i and we will increment the value of n degree by 1 okay now i'll make a queue queue and queue and i'll push all the vertex which is having a zero in degree over here to the queue it's the basic uh, topo sort code if you know then you can just skip it out but uh, it's obviously for the beginners and they can obviously learn from this thing and now we will just uh, apply the basic bfs and us q dot front and then q dot pop i will push back to my order vertex the value of u and i'll traverse through all the vertices which is uh, adjacent to u and i will decrement its uh, n degree value by 1 and i'll check if it is equals to 0 if it is equals to 0 then i'll push it out push it into the queue okay and finally we will return the order okay i guess this is pretty much it and i'll here edges and i'll move to code forces to submit the solution okay so here abc.cpp okay so you can see we got an ac over this question and do like and subscribe and please hit the bell icon and never miss an update from acm student chapter itism dhanbad okay so thanks for watching